How's it going everybody? Uh, today, I don't know if you've been following along in my other videos, but I've been working on this paver patio project, trying to get it wrapped up. Um, went up to try to start working on it today and I get a call from my crew leader and a photo. He sends me a photo. Uh, he's broke down on the side of the road. Trailer looking like this. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Um, so I had to pull off, go. He had another, he had another mower on the back of this trailer. I if you can see, put it, I went, went and got out with him, got that mower, put it in the, put it in the dump trailer. That way he didn't have so much weight on this thing. That way he could pull it back home with just the one tire on this side. Uh, so now we are back at the barn. I figure I might as well film, film us getting this fixed. Uh, it's just one of the things that as a landscaper you got to deal with every once in a while breaking axles blown out bearings it's a pretty common occurrence um, so you can see upon further inspection that this axle we got rusty metal here here clean metal here and here so this these two areas have been cracked for a while it evidently was only held on by these sides and it just finally gave up today um, but I mean honestly I've been running this trailer pretty hard for the past two years I guess I bought it used for my friend and maybe three years I don't even know but I haven't had to put an axle on it I've been wondering when the time was going to come. Usually what will happen is the bearings will fail. The bearings inside your hub will go bad. You won't notice it. And then the hub will chew up the, the axle spindle. And that'll be the reason why you have to replace the axle. It's not that often you actually snap an axle in half. But it's certainly not the first time we've had that happen either. Uh, we're just lucky it was a dual axle trailer. That way we could you know, haul it on home. If it was a single axle, you're stuck. You gotta get it towed back. But I'm gonna show you what we what we do to fix this. I've already went and picked up, went to the trailer supply, axle supply place, bought a whole new axle. I didn't need it, but it actually came with new hubs, new springs. Uh, if you break an axle, it's a lot cheaper generally. You can just go buy the axle shaft, take your springs and hubs and brakes and all that stuff off your old axle, swap it to your new axle it's not expensive at all but the only one they had available it already had it didn't it, did, it didn't have the brakes on it but it had the springs and the hub and everything but that's all they had and i i wanted to go ahead and get it fixed today so i mean it was maybe an extra hundred and 120 dollars so not that big a deal we'll have new springs new u-bolts most of the time you can't reuse these u-bolts anyway they get so rusted that the threads usually get boogered up on the way out Sometimes you can't even get them off and you have to cut the U-bolts off. But, so, it'll pretty much have new everything. Uh, while I'm in here, these, these shackles, they have nylon bushings in them and they generally get worn out and start wearing on these shackles. So while we're over here working on this, we'll probably, you can kind of see the gap in that shackle. It's definitely got some wear in it. Uh, I think I put, already put new shackles and bushings in the other side and I didn't do this side, so. It's a good time to do all that now. Uh, so let, let's get this going, get this trailer fixed up. It's spring, we don't have time to be down. So. All right, here's our new axle. That's a little shady. Let me show you this side. Like I say, it's got, it came with hubs. These are not brake hubs. So I will actually pull these off and reuse the brake hubs off the other axle. That way we still have brakes. But I mean, I'm kind of glad to have these because 
like I say, when the bearings inside of here go bad, it'll usually ruin the hub and or the, the axle. So it's pretty common. I mean, we run several trailers that'll all use this, this same hub. So if we end up ruining a hub later on in the year, I'll have two extras right here with bearings already inside of them ready to go. Uh, you can never go wrong having extra parts especially when you're busy that, that just is going to mean less downtime but so yeah it came it's already got the springs with the u-bolts bolted up uh so i mean if i wasn't going to swap these out all we would have to do is slide this thing under there and bolt it back up but we're going to do some extra things today while, while we're doing this 13 16 socket Not too bad. I don't know if you can see that there. You see the amount of wear. It's not bad. Usually they're a lot worse by the time you pull them off. And you can also see here the the shackles. I mean this was the size of the bolt. You can see how much bigger it is now where that where that wears. So it's gonna be a good time to replace those. I believe the ones I've got are a, a good bit thicker than this too, so they're gonna last longer. Also, I think I'm not sure, but I think let me see if I can get this out. Yeah, you can see this little crappy nylon bushing that they come in. I mean, I've worked on these axles that we've only ran for a couple months before and they, they look just like this. I mean, they don't last no time. I don't know why they even use these, but I've been buying brass, brass bushings to go back in there and they last a lot longer. Also, if you really want to do it up, you can buy greasable bolts to replace these bolts. Um, I mean, it makes for a little. All right, camera battery died. We are back in action now. I don't know what I was saying before. Probably wasn't that important. One thing I did not check, I should have made sure I had replacement bolts because as hard as that nut was to come off, I'm not going to want to put that back on. Hot. Oh, all right. That one is free. I don't know if you can tell in the video. Can you tell how how worn down that side is? It's not terrible, but I hate to put that back in there. The threads really don't look too bad. They don't look great in the nut. They look all right on the bolt. But we'll just keep disassembling. Then I'll go dig through my parts and see what I got.
Can you tell these shackles are much thicker than the other ones? And I've replaced all these bolts with that's better. I've replaced all these bolts with greasable, greasable bolts. Um, and you'll see. Watch when I take this off. I put. I believe I'll also put brass bushings inside of here. When I take this stuff off, it's going to look much different than the other side. Yeah, those threads are completely gone. That bolt is useless. But. Let's see if I can show you this. See the difference in the hole there? That hole is not wallowed out at all. The hole here is not wallowed out at all. This bushing is still intact and doing its job it's a brass bushing still got life left in it i think it was definitely worth the upgrade to that that's the one that came out of the side where the bushing was wore out the bolt is still in good shape so i mean the bushing the bushings are going to wear out but it appears to have lasted way longer than the nylon bushings did Luckily, these 3,500 pound axles are not that heavy. That's when one of the hooks is already broken off. Put this one in. Let the trailer back down soon. Or, or a lot. We can let it back down a lot. See these new these new springs even come with those crappy crappy nylon plastic bushings. And would it kill you when you're assembling these things to put an extra five dollars in some good bushings? I guess it would. All right, this is what I found. So I do have the shackles for this side. Um, I do have some additional greasable bolts with brass bushings couple extra bushings and I've got another equalizer might be wise to go ahead and change this one one problem is when I worked on the other side I had to change the equalizer and the one I had was smaller than these so it might be smarter to change the other one this one's not wore too bad might be smarter to change the other one out for the right size I haven't really noticed any difference because of it but Look, how, look at the difference. Look how thick that shackle is and how thick that shackle is. Way, way thicker. It's easy. See how wallered out that hole is? It wouldn't have been a whole lot longer and that would have just broke. And then we would have had to stop and fix something. I've, it seems like it would take a long time for these to wear through like that.
don't know if you can see here I've got this side bolted up but this side the spring is not lining up with the hanger there it needs to come this way I guess when they factory installed these springs they didn't care too much about them being square I don't feel like taking these bolts loose I'm gonna try to just beat it back around All right, so I got this side put back together. Uh, I was having a problem. The bolt that stripped earlier, I didn't realize it was longer to accommodate these thicker, thicker shackles, and I did not have another bolt to replace it. All these bolts that I got around here are, are not long enough. So I ended up having to put these old shackles on this side just to get us back on the road. I'll have to order order some new bolts that way i'll have the thicker shackles over here and then greasable bolts i really i really do not like these bolts though those small threads several of them strip just taking them off on this side and they haven't been on here a year or so and i mean they weren't rusty or anything He's, these are the ones both of these strips to a certain extent i mean there's no reason they should have stripped there's not a, a lick of rust on them so maybe I can find a different greasable bolt that's not made like that with those little bitty threads. But all there's left to do now is jack this thing up, put the wheels back on, and we'll be ready to get back to work. Just like when he put me in there going, <laughs> when he said to keep it simple, stupid thing. He said, God, us. <laughs> and wife come out here like a full face of makeup. Remember when the red light's on? All right, so where I'm at now, I was going to leave these hubs on. But upon trying to mount the tires. Bro, who are you talking to? I realized that they're different lug patterns, so I'm going to have to take these off. are inside so careful not to drop them see these bearings sit right inside there there's another set on the other side they won't come out though because the, the grease seal 
just holding those in, but we'll set that aside. This is the brake assembly. Everything in there looks good. Shoes still have plenty of meat on them. What I need to do is just take these four bolts out. This whole this whole assembly will come off, and then we can rebolt it back up to here. Put that on. It'll be good to go. It's really a pretty simple process. The way this works, this is an electromagnet. That's what the wires are fed to. So when you send power back here through the wires, this is electrified, becoming magnetic, and it sticks to the inside. I'll try to show you here. Sticks to this inside smooth face of this hub while it's spinning. And since it's spinning clockwise, when it sticks to it, it pulls this magnet this way, which pushes this brake pad out, expanding that into the drum, giving you brakes. 11 16s. Okay, and then you tighten this nut up, but I'm not going to be the one to tell you how much to tighten it, because I have never been able to find any real definitive information online about, you know, specifics, how much to tighten it. The only thing to say is they tighten it and kind of check it, make sure, yeah, it's real technical. But I guess the general idea is tighten it so that it still turns, but so that you don't have any play. See, right now you can hear it's still got play in it. I mean, when I took this one off, the nut was kind of loose, so. All right, no play. Still turns pretty freely. About the most guidance I can give you on that. You'd think you'd be able to go to Dexter's website and they'll give you some kind of very specific torque spec for what you're looking for, but they don't. Just torque they don't, spec, just they tighten it. <laughs> they don't want to be liable. Okay, that's on there. I mushed up my old cap pretty good. It didn't want to come off, but it's still going there. Before we put it on there, Mr. Colt's gonna grease the grease this bad boy up. Or I'll do it. I'll do this one for him. Does that thing got any grease in it? It should have some, shouldn't it? Here, we'll find out. It's not mine, my shocker. I'm waiting for somebody to go in the comments and be like, you, you just go let them talk to you like that. <laughs> you just let your boys drag everything around and dirty it up. As you guys can see, but when it's full, the grease will start pumping through this bearing here. Oh, that's it. 
to go ahead and pump a little extra to get this old grease out and make sure it's full of new grease. All right, that's good. That's good. Now we can cap it. Cap it and tap it. Pop a cap and uh... And while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and grease these bolts. Oh yeah, it don't take much on these. Actually, I think we're going to have to because so many of those studs are stripped, aren't we? We've got a whole other issue we're going to have to delve into before we're done here. Keep this, put it back on our, our, our new hub here. It's the wrong size shit, isn't it? Same size as the enclosed trailer. Alright. Damn it. What? Forgot to put the lock ring on there. Nope. Well, I missed a step. Take this back off. Got a little ahead of myself. Forgot to put this lock nut. Now that has crap all over it. All right, that's clean. It's got a little tab here that goes in the flat side of this axle. Sometimes you have to give it a little tap. A little tap, get it on there. <clears throat> Make sure you got plenty of rags if you're gonna try to mess with these things. this on. Okay, now I just got to do the other side and it looked like when I was reinstalling this tire, several of those studs were just spinning inside of the hub. So, looks like I might have to take that off, take the hub off, knock those studs out, and put some new studs in it. But we'll see what that looks like after after we change the hub out on the other side. But I will go ahead and put this tire back on. Okay.
I, I think we're in luck. I don't think the studs were spinning. It looks like these lugs, lug nuts were just stripped. The threads look fine on the on the hub. So all I gotta do is get some new some new lug nuts for those. It looks like three of them were spinning. Yeah, that one's junk. Can y'all see that? Junk. That one's good. Junk. So four out of five of those were stripped. Looks like discount tire numbers. Yeah, honey. Four out of five of them ain't gonna hold on there. The discount tire one is just supposed to be good to go. <laughs> That's all. That's how you fix a broken trailer axle. Now we just need to make a video of how you how you break a trailer axle. I can show you. Anyway, if you need to do something similar, I hope that helps. Just remember, it's not that big a deal. If you're a young landscaper, the first time that happens to you, you'll probably freak out. But it's not that serious. A couple hundred bucks, a couple hours, you'll be back on the road.